My name is Amy and I'm uh, playing Betty the Biotech Corn and uh, I'm going to be marrying Stephen Bird, the CEO of Safeway. And uh, what we're trying to do is explain to people um, what is going on kind of behind the scenes with genetically engineered foods and the relationships between uh, the FDA, the government, um, and uh, private industry, as well as where we shop and get our food every day. Uh, so a great way to get people involved is to do something like street, uh, a street performance like what we're doing and uh, just to create a lot of energy while educating the public. This action is a part of a coordinated effort that's taking place across the whole country and it's all just the beginning of people putting pressure on corporations to be responsible for how they're treating the environment and, and humans as test animals. If you eat foods produced by Frito-Lay, Post, General Mills, Kellogg's, Betty Crocker, almost any processed food, you're already eating genetically engineered foods. In other words, you're a test animal. Regulation of genetically engineered foods is voluntary. The FDA has never even tested the majority of genetically engineered foods. Monsanto likes it that way. Less regulation means more profit. There are, I believe it's about 35 countries right now that have either banned or enforced labeling for genetic engineering. And that includes several countries in Europe, Africa, um, Australia, New Zealand. Um, they are um, either labeling or just outright banning their products. And some companies that even manufacture the products here in the States and ship over to Europe um, make them GMO free. So you'll find um, like Kraft products or Kellogg's products um, that are made here and they even have a made in the USA uh, statement on them that have um, labeling or are GMO free and they're sold in Safeways in Europe. Well, right now um, the top, top ingredients uh, that are genetically engineered are corn, cotton, um, soy, and, um, and basically if you look at any, any ingredients, if you look at you know, uh, chips, if you look at uh, processed foods, you're going to find like a cottonseed oil, you're going to find soybean oil, and if you use uh, soy products like tofu or, um, or any uh, and most uh, frozen foods, they're going to have some kind of a soy protein in them. And uh, so there's really no way to guarantee whether or not you're eating genetically engineered foods. About 60 to 70 percent of the foods on the market right now are uh, or do contain genetically engineered ingredients. In spite of assurances by Monsanto and other biotech corporations, GE is not about feeding the world. It's not about creating healthier, more nutritious food. It's not about reducing pesticide use. It's not about helping the farmer. GE is about profit. We uh, support uh, a ban or a moratorium on genetically engineered ingredients until we can, um, if it's even possible, to prove that genetically engineered foods are indeed safe for the public. Because right now, we don't feel that there's sufficient evidence to prove one way or another. We don't want genetic engineering getting out into the environment because it has a tendency to be untested, to mutate and disseminate instead of diluting the way that chemical pollution would do. And then you can't ever be sure of what the effects are. For example, the corn that Monsanto engineered turns out to be toxic to monarch butterflies and has devastated monarch butterfly populations. And that just echoes all the way up the food chain. So there's a lot more than just the simple health reason of I don't want to put something in my body that's been untested. There's ramifications that we can't even comprehend. <laughs> Today on this chilly afternoon, Stephen Bird, C.
Valley with Betty, the giant ear of biotech corn. Whether we like it or not. Profit over people and to sell 
sell, sell from this day forward for as long as your customers may live. Now, Betty, give your ring to Safeway and repeat after me. I, Betty, the biotech corn, take thee, Safeway, to be my lawfully wedded distributor? I, Betty, the biotech corn, take thee, Safeway, to be my lawfully wedded distributor. <laughs> to be stocked and sold for richer and even richer. To be, to be stocked and sold for even richer and richer. <laughs> I, in spite of sickness, disease, or other genetic side effects. In spite of sickness or disease or other genetically side, of, side effects, side effects, side effects. I promise that my creators will grease palms, mount public disinformation campaigns, and generally fight to block any and all legislation that might possibly protect the public from my potential dangers for as long as the customers may live. I promise that my creators will grease palms, mount public disinformation programs, and generally fight to block any and all legislation that might possibly protect the public from my potential dangers for as long as the consumer shall live. Oh, aren't they a beautiful couple? By the power vested in me by the government of the United States, I now pronounce you distributor and product. You may kiss the bride.